This is how to use ChatGPT with Zapier and VoxScript plugins to automate your process of note-taking. Did you ever feel overwhelmed with note-taking? Or had to rewatch a long video just to write down the main points? Then stick around, because I'm going to show you how to connect ChatGPT with your Notion workflow. This method is great if you've watched a video and don't want to play it again just to make notes. We'll walk through a simple three-step process and use AI to make clear and useful notes from YouTube videos. Let's get started. First things first, uh, let's ensure we have uh, VoxScript and Zapier plugins installed. Uh, let's head over to ChatGPT plugins and let's go to plugin store and search for first uh, VoxScript uh, plugin. Mm, if you don't have it installed, just click it here and uh, it will be installed. Mm, VoxScript lets you search uh, YouTube transcripts and gives them as a context to ChatGPT. So you can create summaries or advice based on YouTube videos with this. And the second uh, plugin is Zapier. We will use Zapier plugin to create uh, Notion pages for us but uh, you can integrate with any of uh, the 5,000 apps that are supported in Zapier. Next, we need to create a Notion page where new nodes will be added. So here's my Notion. I will add here a new page and call it test, uh, just for the purpose of this video. And here we will be adding all the, all the new nodes created by ChatGPT. Now we need to add a new action inside the list of actions that ChatGPT can do with Zapier. When you go to nla.zapier.com slash openai slash actions, you will see a list of actions that ChatGPT can currently do with Zapier plugins. Here is this list, but we need a new action. We can configure a new Zapier action inside ChatGPT. Uh, we just need to use GPT-4 with Zapier plugin and uh, use this prompt, which says configure the Notion create page action automatically for me. Uh, we can press run and wait a second. The ChatGPT should give us a link uh, to the configuration page uh, that will allow us to create new pages in Notion. Uh, let's click it. So this is the configuration page. First, we need to choose an account that we will be using to, uh, for creating uh, Notion pages. Here I have only one available, so I will pick this. Then we need to reconnect to make sure that the page we've just created is uh, available to Notion. So click select pages and make sure that the page we've just created, the, the test is uh, selected and allow access. Parent page can be uh, left as it is. Then we need to uh, show all options and select title and uh, have AI guess a value for this field and the same with content. And uh, if we have all of this checked, we can enable the action. And this created a new action inside our saved ChatGPT actions. Right now we should be good to go. And finally, we can get to the fun part, which is prompting. We will need to uh, use custom instructions to let ChatGPT know what the task is about and not to repeat uh, the same long prompt over and over again when we want to summarize something. We need to go to uh, settings and custom instructions and here we will type in what the task is about and what should be the style of the response. I have the prompts already prepared so let me just paste them to the boxes and uh, describe what, uh, what which of them does and you can find them in video descriptions if you want to repeat the process. So the first prompt says that 
uh, ChatGPT is a social media content analysis and it will execute a chain of action. First of all is analyzing the video step by step and creating a summary of every chunk that is prepared by Vox script. Then based on those chunks, it will prepare an extremely actionable advice. And then we will create a final summary and advice and save it to Notion database. The style of the response should be conversational and relatable. We want to avoid robotic default style of chat GPT. So that's it. Let's save it. Now we can get to the final prompt. We will summarize YouTube video and create a Notion page with the summary. Uh, we will use one of the latest Alex Hormozy videos. It's titled I gained 5 million followers with this secret method. Let me paste the prompt that I've already prepared and let's discuss it. So first uh, we give ChatGPT the link to the video that it should get the transcripts from and summarize. The Vox script will get the transcripts and pass it to ChatGPT, which will analyze each chunk of the transcript into bullet points and create the final actionable advice based on the summaries. Then we save the output to, to Notion. Parent page is test, so the one we've just created. And the title of the page will be the name of the video and the channel name. And then we ask ChatGPT uh, to embed the link to the video at the top of the page. And after that, paste in the content of the advice. So that's pretty much it. We can hit run. And after about a minute, we'll get a link for review and confirmation uh, of the content uh, on Notion. So we can click it, but before that, so let's see the process. So first we got a summary uh, of the video, then we got an advice based on it, and then uh, it was uh, saved to Notion, but we have to confirm it. Let's click here. And here we can see the preview of the page, the parent page, the title of the page and the content. So yeah, let's just cl click run. And here you can see the confirmation that the action has been run successfully. Let's go to Notion. And here you can see that we've got our page available. Here is the video embedded. If we want to have it, have the preview of that, let's copy the link and just embed the video because chat gpt doesn't get it right here we get the summary and also the advice so that's pretty much it uh, we can use this process for any youtube video here uh, are a few more examples that i've already summarized so for example here is a summary for dan cole's video I also tried uh, summarizing Hamza's long video, the, the money guide, and you can see that it's uh, it does make it, but we need to iterate uh, th this process because the video is so long, so uh, ChatGPT cannot s summarize the whole, whole transcript, we need to summarize parts and then create one final note uh, with, with the whole summary. So I think it's a great way to save your time when making notes from YouTube videos, especially when you are on the go. And if you would like to see more content like that, hit that subscribe button and see you in the next one.